Hey there friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Donnell and in today's video I want to talk about um, elastics that go along with wearing braces. For most of us that is. From what I understand that not everyone that wears braces actually has to deal with elastics. So essentially in today's video I wanted to give you some tips and advice uh, from what I have learned in wearing elastics. But I myself, when I first got uh, braces put on, I was very curious about what elastics were, when would I be using them, oh, I wanted to know everything. And it wasn't until six months into my treatment that I actually had to start wearing elastics. So the first six months I kept asking my orthodontist, am I going to get elastics? Am I going to get elastics? And finally he was like, you know, it's just not time yet. Everyone's braces journey is different. So I was just getting, I guess, wanting to know about the future and what the future held for me and my braces journey. And uh, with everyone's braces journey being different, uh, you definitely can't compare apples to apples, but definitely these videos before I got braces on were very helpful to kind of answer some questions that I had that I didn't think about asking my orthodontist when I went to, I think it was three different consultations with different ortho orthodontists before I actually decided who to go with. So um, if you guys do find it to be helpful, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would give it a like, give it a big thumbs up. It would greatly help my channel. And as well, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already but would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, and then as far as what kind of elastics I wear, they are called Sprites. They are a class 2 elastic. I'm going to scoot up here and see if I can show you the bag itself. I might have to zoom in on it a little bit here so you can see. Um, I don't know if it's going to show. Anyways, these are called Sprites. There it goes. Sorry, but my camera wasn't wanting to focus. And um, they are one quarter inch, 6.44 millimeters, and these are in the medium strength. I don't know what all strengths that there are. I think uh, light, medium, maybe a medium light, and then heavy. I've heard of a light and a heavy, but as far as medium, I think it could be like a medium or a medium light. I'm not really sure. And then as you'll notice, there's like a little animal or like a creature there. And again, uh, they're just called sprites. And then uh, since I mentioned that these are called sprites, and again, I don't know, really know what that animal is on the front, but it's a really irrelevant. Really what it matters is the size of the elastic and then what class that they are. There are three different types of classes for elastics to go along with people that do need them during their braces journey but in a funny thing that i just recently learned is in australia and uh, you guys can correct me in the comment section below if you know if this is to be different but i think their uh, names their elastics are after male names like i've heard of paul and i've heard of chuck and there was a third one but i forget what it was so uh, i don't know how they come up with the names of elastics beats me and if you guys know the answer to that as well please leave it in the comment section below and then I also want to show you um, if I empty this bag out um, there are some things I've noticed lately about elastics uh, empty this whole bag out is Okay, so what I have learned about my elastics, uh, the last few bags that I have been given is the normal elastic is about like this size. Let's see if it'll focus on that. Now, let me show you another one that I've recently found. Um, and it's crazy of how these are cut, because look at that. Look how thick that elastic is. God, I wish that would focus a little more clear. Anyways, uh, here's another one that was um, a little bit thicker. I really, there we go. See how thick that is? And then let me find the one I just had. And then look how thick that one is. And then look at the, look at the one that's next to it. See the difference? So be careful when you're pulling your elastics out of the bag. Um, I don't know. That's just crazy to me that if you're not very careful that you could be essentially just putting a, 
I would think that you would notice before you actually put it on your bracket. Uh, however, uh, that's pretty thick and I would be scared to know uh, what that would essentially do to, do to your teeth. There's another one I wanted to show you guys as well. If I can find it here. Uh, I'm losing them. Uh, where did it go? Anyways, maybe it just doesn't matter, but oh yeah, here it is. Look at this one. This one is uh, thick as well. Now the camera's trying to focus on my face instead of the elastic. What I'll just go ahead and do is one, zoom back out and I will just insert some pictures in uh, just to kind of... Okay, so what I was trying to tell you guys earlier about the elastics, if you could see here, I went ahead and just put them all in my hand so I could zoom in on them a little bit better. Um, but the ones over here on the right are the regular sized elastics. And as you can see pretty well here that they are just a round um, elastic. And then as we move over here to the left, the ones that's right here in the middle, they're a little bit thicker of a cut. And then the one that's right here second to the end on the left, as you can see, it's actually cut pretty thick as well, but it's got like a split right down the middle of it. And then the one that is on the very end, like how tall that one is cut. So I've been trying to research online about actually how these elastics are cut. I would imagine probably in mass quantities. So we can't expect them to be all cut identically uh, the same. However, just be careful when you're pulling your elastics out because this is what you'll run into is if you're not careful and watch what you're putting on. So yeah, I just wanted to take these out and show you guys so you guys could see uh, the difference. Okay, anyways, moving on. So uh, with my elastics, I'm actually instructed to wear them 23 hours a day. And when I pulled those thicker elastics out of that bag for the first time and saw those like that, I said to myself, are you kidding me? I'm not putting that on my mouth. I'm not hooking that to my teeth. Ugh. Hey, now get your mind out of the gutter. That's not what I meant. <laughs> and wow, I wouldn't even want to know the damage that it could actually do to your, the bracket that's hooked uh, that the elastic will be hooked to if you use one of those thicker ones uh, like I showed you um, or what it would be doing to your teeth because uh, essentially the elastics um, are moving your teeth and as well as if you think about it your tooth is not just what is visible to the naked eye your tooth is really long and has a long root on it as most of us know and that is hidden what definitely well beneath the gum and into your jaw itself. Um, I'm probably going to take him to my orthodontist at my next appointment and just show him. He may very well not be surprised uh, when I show him those. He's probably seen them before. However, I just want to bring it to his attention that um, that I saw those in there. And when I do ask, or when I do show those to him, I want to ask him like, how are the elastics cut? Um, maybe like I mentioned before, I would imagine like in a factory. Uh, of sorts that they're probably cut in mass quantities. So again, they all can't be perfect. Okay, and then class two elastics, which is what I wear. Um, what that essentially is used for is for patients that have an overjet or an overbite. Um, an overjet, um, I've explained before uh, what that is, is where your teeth uh, meet, uh, don't meet, I should say together. Like your teeth, your upper teeth are over, like it's an overbite but it's an overjet where your front of your teeth kind of fan out just a little bit. Uh, so what they essentially do with class two is they want to retract um, and bring back the upper arch and, and then um, bring forward the lower arch. But again, they want to be very careful when moving your teeth because they want to get them to align, to align as, as closely as they can to each other without having that overbite or that overjet. But that's to be expected when you're in braces. Your teeth are constantly shifting. However, you guys have your elastics pattern. Um, the teeth that are next to the ones that the elastics are hooked to are moving as well. So that's why it's very important to wear your elastics, elastics exactly how your orthodontist has told you to. And another thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is my midline. Why my midline is, I guess spit. That's another problem with braces. 
You have to learn to pronounce certain words correctly. And I've been in these braces for a year and a half, and I'm still spitting sometimes. I don't even mean to do it. Um, sometimes you got to move your lips in order to a certain way in order to pronounce certain words. And sometimes it works out the best, and sometimes not. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? Uh, the oh, midline of mine. I'm going to go ahead and insert the picture back in here. And as you can see, uh, I put different markings on there as to why my midline is still not correct. Anyways, um, yeah, my midline, I don't know if it will ever be corrected 100%. But I'll have to say, I consider myself to be very lucky because I have an orthodontist that is, one, very patient, and two, he's very precise about where he wants things to be. So that is something that I'm looking forward to, is to have to wear probably elastics during my whole braces journey. But again, I don't know. I can't predict the future and nor can the orthodontist. So I want to share with you a few do's and don'ts. Uh, the first one is a do. What I mean by do is do wear your elastics, elastics exactly as your orthodontist has told you to wear them on the teeth that he or she has told you to wear them on and how often he or she has told you to wear them on. Another do is what I would like to add here is uh, these little bags of elastics, just take these elastics with you everywhere. If you're going to school, put them in your backpack. Or if you carry a purse, put them in your purse. If you're old enough to be driving, put one of these in your car. Um, keep one of these in your bathroom at home. Anyways, keep your elastics everywhere so that you're always reminded and that you always have them readily available to put them on when you need to be having them put on. Okay, so a don't is don't ever double up on your elastics. And the reason you don't want to do that is because you're going to be putting more force onto that bracket. Either one, you could be ripping that bracket off, putting too much pressure on that to pull the elastic again. And you saw how tiny those were. And when they get stretched out and pull from one bracket to another, no matter what pattern it is, you could be essentially maybe uh, pulling that bracket off of your tooth or making it weaker. And even more importantly, number two, you're probably for putting too much force onto that root than needs to be. So please do not double up on your elastics. Uh, you know, if there's a day or so that goes by and you forget, just put, put your elastics back on as you're supposed to and continue to keep doing so. Okay, the next point I'd like to make is a do. And this one should pretty much be uh, something you guys should already be doing anyways, is always wash your hands before brushing your teeth and putting your elastics in. Okay, the next thing that I would like to mention is a don't. Don't put your elastics on different hooks that you're, different hooks than your orthodontist instructed you to do. Uh, they are the one that are, that are the ones that are professionals and know how your teeth should be moving. Again, everyone's braces journey is different. So if you think that someone's elastic pattern might be the way you want yours to look, uh, so to speak, if you like the aesthetic of it, it doesn't mean that your teeth need to move the same way as someone else's. You know, sometimes you might uh, fall and, you know, forget to put those elastics in, or you may not brush right away after a meal. You may not flush your teeth right away after a meal. That's okay. You know, you're allowed to make mistakes, just like anything else in your life. Mistakes happen. Nobody's perfect. But just try to do the best that you can do. And again, please do enjoy your braces journey and have fun with it. And uh, I think that's all that I have for now. I know this video is probably gonna be, be pretty lengthy. I just thought I would uh, run across all these things. And uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and or found it to be helpful. And if you could, please give it a big thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up everywhere. And again, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already but would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button down below. Anyway, so with all that said, I'm going to quit rambling on and on. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day or a great night, whatever it may be for you. Thank you again for watching. Bye.